Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to moving to episodes 14 and 15 of season 3 of Dr. Stone. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 14 and 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> in here even though I like when it's cold <laughs> oh really Right. Yeah, I mean, because can we talk about the last couple of times? Right. Mm-hmm. 
Really? Mm-hmm. Right? It's not right. <laughs> mhm mm basically us. Okay, let's just see if you're still good. <laughs> I don't see any holes. Y'all see any holes?
that you do. Nice shooting text. Yeah, how are we getting that? No, no, you're not. Looks more like tar.
Maybe. I think you're on to something. And that's what you get to do. <laughs> You, of course. <laughs> He knows, like, ah, he's figuring it out. Oh my god. It's so freaking nerve wracking. What if he kills him all? Oh my god, I don't want to think about that. <laughs> You know, all bets are off after that.
Definitely. Okay, I just go to the next episode. Just go to the next episode. No, you can't end like that. Okay, now that we're kind of really definitely getting into the nitty gritty towards the end of this, honestly, it could go any way. Mose, I'm still looking at him some type of way. Yes, half yes, because I love the crap out of him. He's fine as fuck. Yes, yeah, that, that's a fine ass man. But this is a man who also was talking to them like, okay, hey, once I get this, all bets are off. So yes, they still got to watch out for him. So I'm like, how are they going to get through this situation? This is a three part battle and we're only on the first of three. And the anxiety is through the roof right now. <laughs> like, oh my God. Like, mm -mm. No, no, ma'am. Mm -mm. No, 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 shit, no. Hell no. Nah. Mm -mm. No. No. <laughs> but no, this is a good episode. It really was. The fact that majority everybody is back except Ginral and Kohaku, like, not have, <laughs> Ooh, excuse me, not having those two in this episode feels weird. It is, okay, it's like how, all right, when, when Tsukasa, when he officially kind of, okay, when he got frozen, after that, like, the first couple episodes of the season, especially in the OVA episode about Rusui, it felt weird because I'm like, yeah, he's here, but he's not here here in the present, in the moment with everyone else. And so you kind of wish he was here because it's like, damn, like, yeah, like, oh, my God. The, you know, the family's all here. The gang's all here and such. And so it, that's what it feels like, especially with Kohaku and Ginro. Also turned into stone and they're not here as of right now but they're just waiting for the moment counting down like numbers just counting numbers obviously because i what else can you do in the moment what can you do in the moment but sit there and you're you're probably thinking about all the life choices that got you here you're like damn why did i do this Instead of me going left, why didn't i go right and such and that's probably what they're thinking about but the things that they did led to this decision and it was a good decision on both of their parts we know you know i'm praying he make a good way he, he makes it out of this please don't kill him i really don't want to see anybody else dying in this show please okay once again and even though like once when we're done with this third season and getting into the final season whatever the fuck is going to happen obviously whatever it is i'm not truly ready for it I have no freaking idea. Like I said, I'm hoping these characters do not have to deal with, like, another purification-ish again. But something tells me. Something coming in threes! <laughs> threes, I tell you! Oh my god. We want to see, but, you know... <laughs> oh my god, no. No, no, no. Okay, I have to think of, like, something that character-wise... Um, Usually when something happens, whether this is in a regular TV show or an anime. Okay, so one of my favorite shows, one of my favorite CW shows of all time, literally every single time when something bad happened or when you got to like a pivotal moment, this one character always fucking popped up. Or how, okay, another way I can describe it is, of course, Danganronpa, if you have a plan. I'm about to go into massive, like, spoiler territory. Of, okay, the best character who was the villain for not one, not two, but the entirety of the freaking series, always coming back in some way, shape, or form, 
And you get to the final game of the series, and you're like, oh my god, it's fucking her. Again. But then you have me, and it's like, oh my god, it's my girl! Again! But no, really, right now, we're coming in threes. Because we've, are, we've now had one time where Senku, and majority of Senku and the rest of them were purified. Now you had Chrome and majority of our new cast getting purified. Why don't we just go three for three? Or is that what we're doing? Don't tell me, okay? We'll find out when I watch season four of when that comes out next year. But go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 15. All right, episode 15 in three, two, one, go. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, but they don't know that.
but, but, but they are they ready for everything that you have like oh you don't even know What happened? What do you mean? Most? Because that fucker knows. He fucking knows. It's just rocks. Mm-hmm. Because she's going to throw the real one. Fuck, he's right on their tail. Why the fuck is Senku in the back? He's the most, like, important person! He need to be in the front! He He's still behind, y'all? I mean...
Where the fuck are they? He switched out the gun! They're moving everybody onto that ship? They're trying to leave. This is why you shouldn't give a, just a hothead a gun as well. Oh my god. And, and then you want to hold it sideways? Can, are you able to shoot that thing? So it's
Yeah, and a dum dum has the gun. Oh my god. Idiot. You think? So, how are you going to patch the hole, though? Well, damn, the girl. Why do I have the feeling that he, the, the whole statue, it's not there of his dad? Come on! It's not there. Shit. That fucker. <laughs> One fucking stop. <laughs> of course it's there, but... <sighs> and Yuzu's not with them. Oh, no, she is. Sad way to reunite with your dad.
-hmm. Please hurry up and get that idiot! Please do. Out of all the idiots to get the fucking gun, like, oh, my God. <laughs> oh. but with six episodes left, like, this is getting really good. Honestly, once again, hoping this ends on a good note. Hoping Ibera is, he's done. He's got to be done. The fact that this dude has been one step ahead of him, out of the, oh, one step ahead of them ever since he heard hearing and bullshit. Like, the fuckery. Oh my god. I hate it, but I love it. It's just, you love when villains get like that. But like, I really hate this dude as a villain. I need him to go. So I am hoping and praying that by the time I finish this tomorrow night, <sighs> He's gone. The problem will be solved. And then they'll be on their way back home. Hopefully with some new friends going with them. Because, like, I, it makes me wonder. Is Soyuz going to stay there at his home that he's been away from her for 20 years? Or is he going back with Senku and everyone else? There's a lot of unanswered questions. Love the fact that, you know, Soyuz also got to have this moment and to remember his dad. Especially with the fact that, you know... He's never going to see him again, which is truly sad. But I'm guessing the big, big reason on why his mom and him left when he was just a little baby is because of Ibarra and his influence and his force and the shit that he was doing. Killing off and turning his father into stone, breaking him into little freaking teeny tiny pieces because, of course, he's got to be one step ahead of everybody. And he's like, oh, yeah, like, hmm, I'll just have someone make a statue of him. And then be like, oh, yes, nothing happened. And then we're going to kill everybody off. Like, <sighs> this too much. I cannot imagine watching this, what, last year, I believe, um, when this was airing and you got to this episode and being like, how the fuck? <laughs> Where are we going next week? Like, to have six episodes left and being like, God dang, how is this going to end? Like, what? y'all was in for a treat like deadly dead ass oh my god but yeah how is how the hell is this ending i'm not watching another two episodes i can't i gotta edit so definitely watching the final three op the final three the final six episodes tomorrow so thank god it only took me three hours and such and try to get them out before i go to bed tomorrow night but no this was good we're just I i'm hoping Moe's doesn't die, but something is going to tell, something is telling me that weird little feeling that I have in the back of my head where it is because like, I bet he's already like one step ahead. He's going to either try to at least kill him or he gets purified and Senku and the rest of the gang is able to save him. I'll find out tomorrow then, but other than that, guys, that is my reaction for towards episodes 14 and 15 of season 3 of Dr. Stone. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel, I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episodes 16 and 17, but until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!